Good afternoon, sisters and brothers. Let us pray the novena to the Sacred Heart. Please stand for the hymn. O Sacred Heart, O Love Divine, do keep us near to Thee and make our love so like to Thine that we may wholly be. Heart of Jesus, hear, O heart of love divine, listen to our prayer, make us always thine. Please kneel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Together, Divine Jesus, you have said, Ask, and you shall receive. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Behold me kneeling at your feet, filled with a lively faith and confidence in the promises dictated by your sacred heart and pronounced by your adorable lips. I come to ask this favor. To whom can I turn if not to you, whose heart is the source of all graces and merits? Where should I seek if not in the treasure which contains all the riches of your kindness and your mercy. Where should I knock if not at the door to which God gives himself to us and to which we go to God? I have recourse to you, heart of Jesus. In you I find consolation when afflicted, protection when persecuted, strength when burdened with trials, and light in doubt and darkness. Dear Jesus, I firmly believe that you can grant me the grace I implore, even though it should require a miracle. You have only to will it, and my prayer will be granted. I admit that I'm most unworthy of your favors, but this is not a reason for me to be discouraged. You are a God of mercy, and you will not refuse a contrite heart. Cast upon me a look of mercy, I beg you, and your kind heart will find in my miseries and weaknesses a reason for granting my prayer. O sacred heart, whatever may be your decision with regard to my request, I will never stop adoring, loving, praising, and serving you. My Jesus, be pleased to accept this act of perfect resignation to the decrees of your adorable heart which I sincerely desire may be fulfilled in and by me and all your creatures forever. Sacred heart of Jesus, I know that there is but one thing impossible to you, to be without pity for those who are suffering or in distress. Look upon me, I beg you, dear Jesus, and grant me the grace for which I humbly implore you through the Immaculate Heart of your most sorrowful mother, you have entrusted me to her as her child, and her prayers are all powerful with you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated.
please kneel for the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. And the Word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Good, after, good evening, sisters and brothers. To preserve the solemnity of our celebration, let us please turn off our cell phones or put this on silent mode. Thank you for your cooperation. Welcome to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Today is June 28th, Friday, and we celebrate the Vigil Mass of the Solemnity of Saints Peter and Paul apostles. Our presider for this holy sacrifice is Reverend Father June Sol Solomon. Please stand and join in the entrance hymn. Purihin ang Panginoon, umawit ng kagalakan, at tugtugin ang gitara. At ang kaaya-ayang lirang Hipan ninyo ang tumpetam Sa ating pagkapagabag Sa Diyos tayo'y tumawag Sa ating mga kaaway Tayo ay kanyang iniligtas My dear sisters and brothers, we begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us first seek the forgiveness of the Father. 
for he is gentle and full of compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us now glorify God. Glory to God in the highest and on, and on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord our God, that we may be sustained by the intercession of blessed apostles Peter and Paul, that as through them you gave your church the foundations of her heavenly office, so through them you may help her to eternal salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let us now listen to the word of the Lord. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter and John were going up to the temple area for the three o'clock hour of prayer. And the man crippled from birth was carried and placed at the gate of the temple called the Beautiful Gate. Every day to beg for alms from the people who entered the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked for alms. But Peter looked intently at him, as did John, and said, Look at us. He paid attention to them, expecting to receive something from them. Peter said, I have neither silver nor gold, but what I do have, I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, rise and walk. Then Peter took him by the right hand and raised him up, and immediately his feet and ankles grew strong. He leapt up, stood, and walked around and went into the temple with them, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw the man walking and praising God, they recognized him as the one who used to sit begging at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with amazement and astonishment of what had happened to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Their message goes out through all the earth. Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. They pours out the word today and night to night imparts knowledge their message goes out through all the earth not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard through all the earth their voice resounds 
and to the ends of the world, their message. Their message goes out through all the earth. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that the gospel preached by me is not of human origin, for I did not receive it from a human being, nor was I taught it, but it came through a revelation of Jesus Christ. For you heard of my former way of life in Judaism, how I persecuted the church of God beyond measure and tried to destroy it and progressed in Judaism beyond many of my contemporaries among my race, since I was even more a zealot for my ancestral traditions. But when God, who from my mother's womb had set me apart and called me through his grace, was pleased to reveal his son to me, so that I might proclaim him to the Gentiles. I did not immediately consult flesh and blood, nor did I go up to Jerusalem to those who were apostles before me. Rather, I went into Arabia and then returned to Damascus. Then after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to confer with Cephas and remained with him for 15 days. But I did not see any other of the apostles, only James, the brother of the Lord, as to what I am writing to you. Behold, before God, I am not lying. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us now honor the Holy Gospel. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Together. Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. From the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus revealed himself to his disciples, and when they had finished breakfast, said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than this? He answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lamb. He then said to him a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that Jesus had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, Follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Father. 
tonight on this vigil of the solemnity of saints peter and paul we hear we hear the beautiful exchange between jesus and peter in the gospel of john three times jesus asks peter do you love me and this echoes peter's threefold denial just before the crucifixion but here there is no condemnation only love and a mission with each affirmation of love jesus entrusts peter with the care of his flock feed my lamb tend my sheep feed my sheep peter the impulsive fisherman becomes the shepherd the shepherd of the church and this is a powerful message for all of us god's love god's forgiveness are boundless god's love is persistent he does not hold our failures against us forever he uses even our weaknesses to build his church like peter and paul we too are imperfect we stumble we deny we fall short but god's grace offers us a chance to rise again and serve with a renewed love tonight my dear friends let us hear jesus ask us the same question do you love me do you love me even though you are imperfect do you love me even if you are sinful do you love me even if you constantly deny me in your life let us hear jesus asking us do you love me and let our response let our answer be that like of peter's yes lord you know that i love you let that love fuel our commitment to follow the lord let that love fuel our commitment to tend one another let that love fuel our commitment to witness to his gospel in our own lives my dear sisters and brothers may the intercession of, of saints peter and paul the apostles who are united in faith and even in martyrdom strengthen us in our journey strengthen us as we follow and trace the footsteps of the lord Please stand. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. We bring our intentions to the Father. 
with the same faith of the apostles, St. Peter the fisherman, on whom the church is built, and St. Paul the teacher of so many nations. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope Francis, the successor of St. Peter, that he may bear the kiss of the kingdom with wisdom and the pastor's love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For the nations where Christ is not known, that missionaries with the seal of St. Paul may bring them the good news, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For those seeking the truth, that they may be one with us in the peace and unity of the church that is Catholic and Apostolic, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For fidelity and loyalty, that we may love our faith and eagerly share it with others, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls of the departed, that they may be made worthy of the crown of righteousness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God and Father, hear the prayers of this community, gathered in the faith of the apostles and helped by their intercession. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now share our gifts and love offerings as we continue our celebration with the liturgy of the Eucharist. Kunin at tanggapin Ang alay na itong mga biyayang nagmulam sa pagpapala mo. Tanda ng bawat pusong pagkatinipig mo. Ngayon na nananalig nagmamahal sa iyo. Tinapay na nagmula sa butil ng trigo Pagkain nagbibigay ng buhay mo At alak na nagmula sa isang tangkay ng upas Inuming nagbibigay lakas Kunin at tanggapin ang alay na ito, mga biyayang nagmulam sa pagpapala mo. Tanda ng bawat pusong pagkatinipig mo, ngayon na nanali, nagmamahal sa iyo. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness and this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of your hands, it will become our spiritual home. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your, for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We bring offerings to your altar, O Lord, as we glory in the solemn feast of the blessed apostles Peter and Paul so that the more we doubt our own merits, the more we, will, we may rejoice that we are to be saved by your loving kindness. Through Christ 
our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for by your providence, the blessed apostles Peter and Paul bring us joy. Peter, foremost in confessing the faith, Paul, its outstanding preacher. Peter, who established the early church from the remnant of Israel. Paul, master and teacher of the Gentiles that you call. And so, each in a different way, gathered together the one family of Christ and revered together throughout the world. They share one martyr's crown. And therefore, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. For those who cannot kneel, please put your right hand on your chest as a sign of reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was, end, was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that we, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, we, the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 We pattern our prayer to the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We now offer to one another this sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May the deceiving of our body, Lord Jesus Christ, not only the judgment and damnation, but your loving mercy, be for me protection in mind and body and a healing. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep you safe for life eternal. Brothers and sisters, to maintain order and reverence in receiving Holy Communion, let us fall in line starting from the front rows going towards the back. Also kindly consume the sacred host in front of the altar before returning to your seats. Thank you. Soul of Christ, sanctify me, body of Christ, save me water from the side of Christ, wash me, passion of Christ, give me strength, hear me 
Jesus, hide me in thy wounds that I may never leave thy side. From all the evil that surrounds me, defend me. And when the call of death arrives, bid me come to thee that I may praise thee with thy saints forever. Hear me, Jesus. Hide me in thy wounds that I may never leave thy side. From all the evil that surrounds me, defend me. And when the call of death arrives, bid me come to thee, that I may praise thee with thy saints forever. Please stand. Let us pray. By this heavenly sacrament, O Lord, we pray, strengthen your faithful, whom you have enlightened with the teaching of the apostles, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some chapel announcements. To address the growing number of attendees in our Sunday Masses, we are pleased to announce that starting July 7, our Sunday Mass schedule will be as follows. Anticipated Sunday Masses on Saturday at 4 in the afternoon and 6 in the evening. Sunday Masses will be at 10.30 in the morning, 12 noon, 2.30 and 4 in the afternoon and 6 in the evening. Please like, follow, and sub subscribe to our Facebook page and YouTube channels, Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary Chapel, SM Makati, for our, for our upcoming activities and online masses. Thank you. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the almighty and loving God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Eucharist has been offered. We now go in peace. Thanks be to God. Salamat, salamat, O Panginoon. Ika'y bukas palad sa habang panahon. Bukal ng piyaya, walang sawang pagpapalam. Salamat, salamat, O Panginoon.